<laughs> Guess what? I'm going to be a grandma. And Rosie's going to be a father. Well, he is a father to two white fluffy babies. I'm going to show you them right now. All right, so what I do is I wait until the mother comes out of the nest. If she comes out to eat and to go to the washroom, uh, there's the father. Hi, baby. And I wait for her to come out of the nest. I'll take the nest box out. There she comes. And I'm going to clean the bedding, give her a fresh box because there's a lot of poop in there from the babies. So this is Roxy and her two babies. One is uh, seven days old today. And the other one is hmm, nine days old, I think. Yeah, two days apart. And I'm going to be banding them. I'm going to put bands on their legs just so I can tell them apart of who's who. And I might be showing them in a bird show, so it's best to have the bands on them. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, so these are the bands. They come in a string of ten, and they're numbered. And this is the, uh, the bird club that I got them from the code for the bird club and then it shows the year which is 18 is 2018 and then all the bands are numbered so these bands start oh and there's L the letter L just means the size of the band so each bird has a different size and the bork is size L and so it just starts at the top this is 1891 and it works its way down there's 1892 all the way to 1900 I believe yeah, 1900. That's um, just upside down. So I'm going to put the band on the first baby. I'm going to use the first band and use the second baby, the second band for the second baby. That's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so here's the band. I took it off the little wire thing, and I have a toothpick. I'm going to put his toes inside the band, and the the front toes go in first, and then the back one sometimes needs help. You got to get a toothpick just to. Um, put in in the toe. So I'm going to show you how I do that now. If the baby's too big, I won't bend the first one. I'll bend the second one. So we're going to have a look. All right. So here's the next box. This is the old, um, the one that they're in. You can see the poop all over it. And I got a nice clean one here, and I put fresh bedding in there because when the it gets dirty inside, it's going to start to smell, and the babies can get respiratory problems, and it can get you know their feet dirty, and and I don't want them all dirty. I want them clean. So, aw, hi babies. So there they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of there. I'm going to put their band on, on right here. And then I'm just going to place them in the new, fresh, clean one. And you can see, see their poop all around there? It's all around. So I really don't want it stuck to their feet or their toes or their beaks. All right, I'm going to get the bigger baby out. <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness and if you ever have babies you always have to check them I do check them I take them out of the nest and I check them because they can get um, you know stuff all over their feet you're gonna make sure they don't have uh, splay feet and you make sure their beak is okay and their eyes are okay oh my gosh oh my gosh oh so cute all right so let's try the band gonna put it down right here her or him come here baby let me check the feet oh, yeah. so it doesn't take long you just kind of hold the foot out get the band I gotta see which way I'm gonna put it on this way with the numbers facing down you got fat toes actually it might not go on this bird but I might have waited too long because I think it might have been born earlier than I thought because I didn't realize that the babies were gonna hatch. So you put it on. Oh, I know, I don't like when they struggle and stuff, but they're fine. Just takes a second. Just takes a second. Put it over your little toes. No, of course you're gonna move. Okay, I know you're supposed to hold their feet harder than this. Not harder, but you know, more firm. But I'm such a chicken about that, so. And then you just grab the toes. I'm not hurting the bird. I mean, the bird doesn't know what I'm doing, so they struggle, of course. Yeah, and then I get a toothpick. I try to do it really fast. And I get the toe out. Ah! Oh! 
Voila, the other toe, here it comes. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the band. And later on in life I can take the band off if, if I don't, you know, need it. And um, this is just so I know which bird is which because when they grow up they're going to look the same. And I can, I can tell from the parents which, bit, which bird is which. And uh, this way I can show that it's my bird as well. So there's band number one, baby number one with the first band on. Alright, so I'm going to put the baby in a clean bedding. Oh, I just want to have a look at it. Look at the mums feeding the baby. He's got a full crop. The little pin feathers are coming out. <laughs> little white fluff ball. There's your clean bedding. I'm going to make a little hole there for them. There we go. All right. And then I just make sure I keep an eye on the mother because she might pick up the band. Okay, he'll be fine. There we go. I'll get his little brother or sister. All right, here's baby number two. This one's smaller, so the band will go on really easy. This one is a week. What day is it today? Sunday. It was born last Friday, so Friday, seven. Eight, nine days old. Ah, oh, look at the, the big, uh, he's being fed too. <laughs> look at the hair on it. So cute. Oh my goodness. So I am going to do the same leg. I'm doing the right leg. It's okay, I know little baby, I know. And I'm not squeezing, I'm not hurting the baby. Just putting the front two toes in. And she moved, or he moved. I don't know what it is. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's kind of uh, nerve-wracking actually. Yeah, see this one went on a lot faster. There we go. Oh, So baby number two. Baby number two. They're going to be rosy borks. Here's the band. Oh, oh don't fall down. Don't fall down. Alright, I'm going to put him in the box with his little brother or sister. We'll find out later. I might be doing a DNA later on. There we go. And we'll give you back to your mommy. And hopefully all is well. And they're probably going to go to sleep. And the first one already pooped. Alrighty. So there's two band babies. I'm going to give them back to the mom. Alright. So I'm going to give them back to the mommy. I know she's waiting. She's waiting. There's your babies. There you go. Aww. Right in the nest. Oh, there she is. The mother's back in with her babies. It's hard to see because it's, you know, the hole is dark in the box. Hmm, so cute. All right, so I'm going to insert some uh, videos of when they were first born, when one hatched, and then when the second one hatched. Not of them hatching, but when they were born. Uh, really surprised me because she was laying eggs all over the place all the time. And I gave her a box, she sat on them and they didn't hatch, um, a few clutches here and there and so I just let her sit on this one so she'd stop laying eggs and one day I looked in the box and there was a baby. I was so excited and then she had four eggs but only two of them hatched, the other ones didn't hatch unfortunately. So I will be giving you updates on the babies, and these babies are mine, I'm keeping them. And there's the daddy, that's Rosie. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And we will see you in the next video. And check out the playlist, I'll put the Borks playlist down below, you can go have a look at that. Alright, bye!